find the equation of the tangent to the curve 2 times x square plus y square whole square equals to 25 times x square minus y square at the point minus 3, 1. So to find the equation of the tangent line, first we need to find slope at this point and then we can use slope intercept form to find equation of tangent. So to find slope, we need to do implicit derivation. So let's start with taking derivative on both the sides with respect to x. So we get d dx of 2 times and here we have x square plus y square whole square is equals to d dx of 25 times x square minus y square, right? So we have to take derivative of all this, right? On both the sides. Now I'll kind of do a shortcut and go won't go through all the steps here and write down the derivative. Now this 2 is a constant so we can just take 2 outside, right? So we get 2 here. Now let's think that we are doing derivative of this function. So it will be 2 times this function, so which is 2 times x square plus y square to the power of 2 minus 1, which is 1, right? Times the derivative of inside functions. We are doing chain rule. So inside function will be with respect to x. 2x for x square plus 2y dy dx for y square, right? So that is the derivative of all this, right? On the left side. On the right side, we have 25 as a constant. So we'll take it out. And derivative of this term is 2x minus 2y dy dx. So that becomes the derivative of the function. Now we'll combine dy by dx terms and then solve uh, for the slope at x equals to 1. So what we can do is, in this, we know x is 1 and y is minus 3. So rather than simplifying all this, it's a good idea to plug in x as minus 3 and y as 1, right? So let's do it right, right here. What's the point in isolating dy by dx and then doing it? This is kind of a very, very critical step. Now, why are we doing it? The question is not explicitly asking us the slope of tangent, right? They're not saying find dy by dx, right? They're just saying find equation of the tangent at a given point. So let's utilize that. So what we will do here is we will substitute this point and find dy by dx at this point. So this is a very critical step which I'm going to introduce here and that is what I want to highlight. So we will not really find dy by dx. I hope you understand the concept and save a lot of time. Uh, you love me for this. That is a great strategy. So let's do this. So 2 times 2 is 4. So we get 4 here and x squared, I'm substituting x as minus 3, right? Minus 3 square is 9 plus 1 square is 1. And then 2 times minus 3 is minus 6 plus 2 times y is 2 times dy dx equals to 25 times within bracket 2 times minus 3 will give you minus 6 minus 2y so minus 2 times 1 is minus 2 dy dx so that is what we did and what we did here was basically what we did here was we said let x equals to minus 3 and y equals to 1 since the point is minus 3 and 1 so now we are finding so now dy dx here is the slope of the tangent line at this point on the curve do you understand this is what it is and now we'll continue so this is a critical step I've done in a different ink and explained you why. Now here it is, 9 plus 1 is 10 times 4 is 40. So we get here 40 times. So minus 6 plus 2 times dy dx equals 2. So we could actually open the bracket also at this stage. Uh, anyway, so we'll do 25 
times minus 6 minus 2 times dy dx. Yeah, we could have opened the bracket and brought the terms together and saved some more steps. Anyway, so now what we will do is we'll divide 40 by 25 and put them in fractions. Okay, now so let's bring the terms together now. So when we bring the terms together, we'll keep dy dx on this side. So 40 times 2 is 80, right? So we have 80 dy dx and here we have 25 times 2 which is 150. This is a minus sign. So when we bring it on this side it becomes plus. So we have plus 50 dy dx is equal to, now we are taking these terms on the right side. So 6 times 40 is 240 and since it goes to the right side the sign changes to positive. And here we have 6 times 25 with a minus sign. So 25 times 6 is 150. So, so that's what we get, which is, which I can write this as 240 minus 150 is 90, right? Okay, if I do some mistakes here, just pardon me for that, right? These are big numbers. I'm just trying to get the concept through. So we'll take dy dx common here and we get 80 plus 50. So that is 130, right? So we'll write here 130 dy dx equals to 90. Now this means dy dx is 90 over 130, right? So, so dy dx and this, imagine. So we have dy dx. Okay, let me push the page a bit further and move on. So we have dy of dx and this is at x equals to minus 3 right because we substitute x equals to minus 3 that is this is the slope of our function at the point minus 3 1 so this is the slope of the tangent line at minus 3 1 on the given function right so we have this as 90 over 130 or 9 over 13 right so that is what we get Okay, so let me write this as 9 over 13 for the time being. Now this is one part, so we at least got the slope. Now the second part is equation of line. Now equation of the line is y equals to mx plus b, right? So we will use y equals to mx plus b and get equation of the line. So the point is minus 3 and 1. 1 is the y value. Slope is 9 over 13 and uh, uh, x value is minus 3. We need to find b. So that is what it is. So we'll bring this term on the right side. It's 1 plus 3 times 9 is 27 over 13 which gives me the b value, right? And so this is 13 plus 27. So 13 plus 27 over 13 equals to B, which is 10 and 40, right? 40 over 30. And therefore, we get equation of our line. Finally. So finally, we get equation of line Y equals to slope is 9 over 13 times X plus B, which is 40 over 13, right? So that is the equation of the line. Now in case you want to write it in standard form, then you can always multiply by 13 and say 13y equals to 9x plus 40 or 9x minus 13y minus 40, no sorry, plus 40 equals to 0. So that could be in standard form. So that is our answer, right? I may go wrong in some calculations here, pardon me for that, I'm not very sure about that, but this is how we are going to do it. And the critical step which I again want to highlight at this stage is this. Remember, the question says find the equation of tangent to the curve at the point. That is what it says. So we need to find two things. 
rather just the one thing slope m at x equals to minus 3 that is what we want to find and that's what we found here right once we substituted x as minus 3 and y as 1 this dy by dx actually became slope so this slope is at x equals to minus 3 so that is what it is this is slope at x equals to minus 3 remember that and that's what we got and then it became easier but if we try to isolate and then do all this it may take forever so avoid those things in test papers that was all I wanted to communicate with this video but finally you'll definitely get an answer thanks and all the best